Hi, I'm Mark Takelet, Product and Distribution Manager for Pursuit Boats. In this segment, we're going to talk about the backbone of every boat that we build, which is a structural grid system. Our infused fiberglass grid system is quite unique in the fact that we can mold the entire structural system into one fiberglass part. Now on conventional stringer systems made out of wood or maybe even foam, you'll have a really narrow I-beam support that you use for stringers. Well with a molded system like this, we can now create what we call a hat man style shape, which gives you a wider base and a narrower top, which gives you a triangulated support at the uh, top of the stringer. Makes it a lot stronger in that, in that aspect. So now you have longitudinal triangulated pieces going this way, and you also have transverse bulkheads that are all built right into one single fiberglass part. Another neat thing that we're able to do by molding the fiberglass grid is we can integrate our what we call our water management system. So these raised areas right here allow the water to flow down in underneath the grid system into a wet area that will get pumped out by the bilge pumps. And don't forget that on the inside of these liners right here, when you open storage hatches, you get a nice finished fiberglass look on the inside. It's easy to maintain and it just looks fantastic. The precision and engineering that goes behind every stringer system that we build provides unmatched performance, strength, and safety. So now that you know why we use a structural grid system and how it benefits the boat, let's talk about how the part is actually manufactured. So this is the exciting part about building the structural stringer grid system for pursuit boats. We employ a vacuum bag methodology to build these fiberglass parts. So the way this works is we have a mold, we spray with gel coat first, and then we start laying out the fiberglass. And all those fiberglass parts that we talked about in one of the previous segments where they cut it on the router, well, those are laid out exactly where they were engineered to go on the mold itself. And then we put tubes on the mold and pull a vacuum bag over top, and then we start drawing resin through the entire process. Now, when we do that, we get the perfect glass to resin ratio, which makes the fiberglass part extremely strong and durable, and the weight is consistent across the board, so when we're building the boats, we know from one boat to the next they're going to weigh the same. At this stage of the game, this is where the structural grid is set in place with the jig fixture where it's going to get ready to go into the hull. We have our rigging tubes installed where we'll run wire runs and uh, hose runs through those to get to the certain components in the mechanical space. We have all of our bulkheads in place. Now you'll notice that the bulkheads are actually marine grade plywood. We actually uh, resin coat the marine grade plywood all the way on the top edges, any openings, and all the front and back surfaces. Uh, we, we use the marine grade plywood in certain applications because of its structural integrity, its sound deadening aspects, and uh, it's a proven material and it's also lightweight as well. And what we do to try to segregate that from any type of water intrusion is it's actually elevated up off of the grid system in every area to keep it out of the wet areas. The bottom line is our use of marine grade plywood and the structural aspect of the boat delivers the type of performance and experience that you expect from Pursuit. So the next step for the grid system is while it's on the jig fixture, it's going to be lifted up and raised into the hull and then dropped in place and uh, set permanently. The first step to setting the grid system is actually doing a dry fit inside the hull. So we'll set the grid down into the hull and then mark the perimeter around the, the grid to make sure that we know where the adhesive has to be attached. Then we'll raise the grid system out of the hull and after, at that point, we'll go ahead and start setting the, uh, the tracks in, in, inside the hull for the water management system. Those will get adhered into place, and then the technicians will go around and uh, install the plexus adhesive around the perimeter of the base where the grid system is going to attach to the hull bottom. Now that the plexus adhesive is in place, we can permanently set the one-piece infused stringer grid. You'll notice that it's attached to a jig fixture. As the jig fixture gets dropped down, it will actually locate itself in the key slots on the outside of the hull mold. This allows us to set the jig and the grid in the same exact spot every single time for repeatability and consistency in the construction process. Another critical factor for the jig fixture is to ensure that the grid is set at the correct height as well so we have the exact tolerances that we need when we set the deck on top of it. Once everything is set, the technicians will go around the perimeter to wipe up any excess plexus adhesive to give the storage areas a nice finished and clean look. So that concludes our segment on the one piece structural grid system that we use in all pursuit boats. Keep in mind that we do use 
the same system in every single model that we build. It doesn't matter what size. It is the backbone to every product that we build and a key element in delivering the luxury and performance that you expect from Pursuit Boats. So stay tuned for other segments that are going to go behind the scenes and show you even more construction methods that makes a Pursuit Boat a Pursuit Boat.